Are you still creating presentations with slides like these? If yes, let me tell you this video is going to change the way you design presentations. What if I tell you that AI can actually design all these slides for you just by click of a button and that too in less than five minutes. Don't believe me? Watch this video till the end and you'll find out. So let's begin. So this is my first slide which talks about automobile marketing deck by Shruti Sharma. All I'm going to do is click on home button and you see this tab called designer on the extreme right. Click on that. The moment you click here, you will see multiple options of how you can recreate this slide. And they also have relevant picture, not just the text. So for example, if I choose this, just look how my slide has changed by just click off a button. It has also picked up the picture which is relevant to your content. You can also choose this. I think this one looks fantastic. Very, very simple. It has also changed the font type depending on the slide design. Look at this, another beautiful option. So you have these amazing options to choose from. You can also see more options if you'd like. Like for example, look at this. I think this one looks fantastic. So I'm going to select the first option that I like, which is this one. And I think it looks great. Now this is my first slide. What about other slides? Let me copy the remaining slide from this deck. These are all my slides. I'm going to copy them over here. Now, first thing that you will notice is that it has a consistent template on all the slides now, right? Which is similar to the first. But I think they still look boring, so I would need to work on them a little. So I'm going to again click on designer and look at this. By just click off a button, your pictures have been cropped to different shapes. If you do it physically, it would definitely take much, much longer. So you have so many amazing options to choose from by just click off a button. Let's see if we have few more. Well, we definitely do. I'm going to select the first option because I think this one looks perfect to me. Now coming to the next slide. This slide talks about our company, how many employees we have, offices, products, and the years of experience. I would prefer this to be more of an infographic slide rather than just these four bullet points. So I'm going to click on designer and look at this. By just click of a button, I have my infographics with icons. So if you see, these icons are also relevant to the content I have. If you want, you can also change these. If you want to have a picture instead of the infographic, you can also choose something like this. Again, very neat and simple example. I would rather choose uh, the infographic one, so I'm going to click on this. If you want to change any of these icons, you can just click over here, right click, click on change graphic, and you can choose from the icons present in your existing PowerPoint. So if I type people over here, I'll get this and I'm going to select this one and look at this. Perfect. By just click of a button, my slide has completely changed. Let's look at the next example. This one talks about the new stores that we are opening in the upcoming year. I have three stores coming and I would like this to be more like a timeline, but creating that is quite time consuming. So I'm going to again do the same magic trick. Click on designer and look at these. We have so many options that we can choose from. So if you want, you can also choose a similar example where you're using a infographic like icons. You can go for something like this. If you want a timeline, you can just click over here. Now what happens when you choose a timeline example and you again click on designer, it will give you more timelines. So for example, if I don't like this timeline, I would like it to be similar to this. Or maybe let's say I like this one better. This I think this one looks great. You could choose something like this. So you have so many options that you can choose from. I think I would like to stick to this one. I think this one works perfectly well for what I had planned in my mind. The next slide is message from the CEO slide where I would like to insert a video. So right now I'm adding a demo video over here. Let's see. Let's add this one. This is my video. Now, the moment you add the video, you'll be able to see templates of how you can use this video. Again, using the same template scheme, same design language. So consistency is something that will be taken care of without you having to worry. So if I choose, for example, this, this particular template, but I want to make this video bigger, you can just make it bigger. So you can always customize on these templates a little if you'd like. I'm going to do this and I think this looks perfect. Now, let's go to the last example. Now the next slide talks about our vision, but this has so much of content. Who is going to read all of this? So I am going to select this all. 
go to chat gpt and write rewrite the following in three brief points it has given me three points which is actually summarizing my entire content so i'm going to delete this and add my three pointers over here look at this now let's again go to designer and see how we can transform this one you could choose something like this this or maybe this i would like to go for the second one if you want you can also put icon instead of numbers over here so you can do always customize it a little now this is when we talk about the look and feel of the presentation what if i tell you that ai can also help you to rehearse your presentation to change the way you present your deck because there are two parts to a presentation one is the content or the visuals of the presentation but the second part which is equally important is how you present now let's come to slideshow we have this option called rehearse with quote just click on that and the moment you're presenting, it will keep talking to you and tell you the feedback instantly. For example, it's telling me, try not to use words which are swillers, like, mm. it is also telling me to go a little bit slower. So you can actually present all the slides one by one, talk about the data, talk about the numbers, whatever data that you may have. It will also tell you if you switch on your camera, it will also tell you if you're looking into the camera, your body language is right or not, and so much more. So now this will also load the results of my rehearsal it will tell me how i perform so for example it's telling me that to sound more polished and confident try to avoid using filler words pause or take a breath to relax uh, some filler words to avoid are mm. it's also telling me that my pace is just right which is around 142 words per minute so you know you you can see so many different feedbacks and you can work on yourself Another thing that you can do now with the help of AI is you can also set your subtitle. So let's say that my subtitle right now, the spoken language that I'm using right now is English UK. And the subtitle language that I want to add over here is let's say Hindi. All right. Now, when I actually present this. So now when you go on full screen mode, you will see all these options on the left. Click on this, which talks about subtitles. And now when I'm talking, it will also show the subtitle while I'm talking, which is amazing, right? Because it's actually a lot of effort to change the language. It's not just about using the same language, but converting it into a language of your choice. So AI actually can change the way you make and present your presentation for sure. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. This is just one part of it. I'm going to make a complete series where I'm going to cover multiple things that you can do with PowerPoint and AI. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.